Happy spring, everyone. In New Jersey, we finally hit spring, and I can't wait to get on the water to do some big bait fishing, all right? And today, in this video, I actually got some old clips from March, okay? Uh, I went out a couple times, threw a few big lures, and um, it was slow going. But I did catch a few, and I do want to share with y'all before I clear out the hard drive for the spring bite, because it's going to be hot. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it, because it's just a straight-up compilation of March fishing. Let's go. Who likes the S waiver? I have not caught a single fish with the S waiver, and I own this one right here for about, oh, six years. <laughs> I have gotten taps, I've gotten follows, I have gotten kisses from fish right by the kayak, but I've never got a fish to bite. So uh, this is the time for me to do it today. Today, we got some windblown conditions and uh, I am getting strikes on big swim baits, uh, spinner baits, you know? So I feel like this is a good time to do it. Just slowly retrieve. This slows down, you know, compared to some other lures that I've been throwing, right? And with these, nice left and right cranks with a slow fall it keeps it in the strike zone a lot longer so we've got some windblown stuff here let me just circle back around and hopefully we'll catch some fish I got some algae. <laughs> this windblown cove has algae like crazy. Oh, first fish ever on the S waiver. Come on, come on. It's a nice bass. Yes, 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 get in boat, get in boat, get, get, oh yeah, look at that, first one ever, that is what I'm talking about, I've been getting nips by fish all day long, and finally, this is it, wait, wait, wait. give me a second, all right, off he goes, to the lose, all right, first bass on the S waiver, I am so stoked, you guys just don't know, man, you guys just don't know. So this rod here is a Dobbins Champion XP. The model number is the DC794 SB, of course. I got the 13 Fishing Concept A3. I am spooled up with um, some cheapo braid line. I think it might be like casking or something like that. Then I got like 30 pound uh, monofilament. And then I got freaking wire leader. <laughs> I am not trying to get bit off by some big pickerel. Don't want to lose no big fish, man. Anyway, we got some wind blown side here. It's gonna get a little bit windier. I think this is where all the fish are gonna be at. So I'm just gonna slow roll this guy, do a little bit of turns. Gotta put on my tactical bassin hat on because, you know, they are legit bass fishermen that just nail fish all the tips that they give Woo. legit guys oh oh that was a nice bite holy crap what did you see my whole rod freaking got pulled that is insane all right Gantrell time Gantrell jr these floats, so um, you know, I don't need to worry about sinking too deep for those algae. Just reel it up and wait for that strike. Might be a little nasty out here, but I'm sure there'll be a big fish waiting for Jimbo. Wah, fish! <laughs> what do we have here? It might be a pickerel. Oh my gosh! The mono pickerel. No, no, my trash. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. All right, see the pickerel? All right. Pickerel could disappear if you want to. All right. All right, never mind. I got him. I got him. But now I'm going to go get my can on lunch. 
Here we go. Uh, man, he got tangled pretty good. Oh, wow, look at this big belly guy. Woo -wee. All right, off you go. Torpedo down. And I get to save my uh, trash. Keep the lake clean, guys. Keep the lake clean. All right, folks. Windblown cove right here. I think uh, this might be it for a biggie. So I'm gonna work this spot really well. Yes, it's right there. Oh my gosh, this is a big, big bass. Holy crap, huge bass came up right underneath the yak. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 here we go, right on the fall. Please be a bass. Yes, yes, not a big one, but second one, second one. Today I am on fire. Not really, but uh, you know. <laughs> so he got hooked on the side. Let's get him out very quick. Woot woot, wind blown side, let's go. You guys just saw that? My rod got pulled and it smashed the freaking um, fish finder. A lot of fish over there, stacked up. Oh, oh, deep water, deep water fish. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let us sink to the bottom. Here we go. Yes! Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. Woo! Selfie time. Selfie time. All right, biggest bass of the day. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have here? It feels good. It feels really good. What? That could be the biggest bass I ever caught in this lake. This is it. This is it. Yes! <laughs> Dude, this is humongous. This guy's humongous. Look at this. Oh my gosh. G rats. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. This, this thing is a beast. It's a beast. All right, folks, look at this Mondo. Dude, this is epic. I feel like uh, this fish been caught before by me because <laughs> the jaw got jacked. But, um, yep. Good old pre-spawn bass. One last look at the mama. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Got the fin. There we go. One last look at the mama. Woo, got a big mouth. Big freaking mouth, yo. All right. Here you go. Get your water, breathe, breathe easy. Open those gill plate, look at that. Ooh, here it goes. Yes. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa, here we go. Got a fish. Looks like a pickerel because it's slamming its tail. Yup, it's a big pickerel.
There we go. Woo. The pickerels are active. Woo. All right, I love the swivel on this. All right, look at that. Beast mode. Here we go. All right, man. Upside down pickerel here. Oh, there we go. We'll feature you right at, oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lucky was not the, the rod, but uh, off you go, dude. Hopefully I don't have a hole in my hole. Get it? All right, there you have it. My uh, quick, short compilation in March, big baits fishing, okay? And I gotta say, man, I have gained a lot of confidence fishing some of these big baits. I learned a lot, I played around with it, and now the weather is warming up and the fish are getting more active. I'm hoping to be able to hit up some more spots, more different lakes, and uh, catch a lot of big fish. That's the goal, right? People want so big lures for big fish. And uh, you know what? It's getting quite addictive and uh, pretty expensive. But anyway, um, I think uh, the S waiver, like I said, I had this lure for a long time and um, I haven't caught anything. And finally, I caught some fish with it. And um, I bought a few more, all right? I got some trout pattern because you know what? Trout fishing is here. Right, for the spring, they stock these South Jersey lakes with some rainbow trout, and hopefully we'll get some of these big bass, big pickers to bite them, because if you think about it, a trout, it has no spikes like a sunfish, right? Bluegills, you know, they have spikes, but you know what, bass love eating them, but they could choke on it. But some of these lakes, these bass and pickers, they have learned that these trout are easy to feed on, you know, soft bones, and easy to digest, that means easy protein. So hopefully, very soon, I'll be able to catch some big fish using some trout imitation fly baits and swim baits, all right? Anyway, I thank you all for watching. The fish don't wait. Stay tuned for those videos if I do catch some big fish with those big lures. Because you know what? If I don't, man, that's a lot of money out of pocket. Well, anyway, catch you on the flip side.